All right, so now what I want to do is make a new constraint. Let me show you how it works and why we should make such constraints. Okay, when I rotate this around like this, I do not want it to rotate the top one. The top one I want to stay true. Keep in mind this object will never rotate this way. Okay. It only stays on the ground and it, it shimmies across the ground, usually using wheels or something like that. So know thy mechanism was what I'm trying to say. Let's create a new locator. Locators allow me to very quickly easily show you the axes things are in. They are invaluable when it comes to constraints. Okay, this constraint is a positive Z this way. And I know that because when I look at it, the arrow is pointing that way. This object is also a positive Z. It wants to point this way. This one wants to look at this one all the time. This is a very interesting thing because you can do this to a camera too. So the camera always looks at a particular object no matter how it's rotating. Okay, now this becomes the driver, this becomes its driven. Let's constrain the two together using an aim constraint. Now, the interesting thing about locators, well one, you can lo rename a locator here. Okay, and I did quickly went in here, went into this object, and named this up. I'm going to use this as a world up indicator, rather than the world itself. Rather than this one, I'm going to make it so this one becomes its world up. Now, let's go in here and match our positive z's, so x, y, z. So I put a positive one in this number. This box. Its up vector is y. I know that because I can look here and this y is up. In here I want object up. And I want to name put in here as up. And hit apply. Oh, and you must highlight both. Highlight this one, then this one, then apply. Look at what happened there. Did you see it? It barely moved. But now, this can move. Okay. This can move around. But it always looks at it. And if I want it to actually, so it, it always goes around and then stays true. Well, I can just take this guy and make it a parent of this little dude. Constrained parent. Now when I rotate this around, it always stays true. If I decide to take this one, go like that I can. Very cool for turrets. You know, I got a gun turret that aims. Um, you know, I want I might want this out here. I might want to rotate the actual turret itself. I might want to actually move it forward some. So all kinds of nifty things, like aka catapults. You know, kind of think about that. Now, would I need an aim constraint for a catapult? No, I would not. Okay, now what we're going to do is mix some stuff together. We're going to mix constraints and expressions together to get some very interesting things.